Ten weeks into the Jimmy Savile sex abuse investigation, the detectives involved have set out just how big it has become. They've recorded 199 crimes in which he is a suspect, 31 of them rape. Our UK editor, Lucy Manning, has more details. Syria's President Assad was this evening reported to be using a new weapon in the war on his own people. US officials say Scud missiles have been fired by the president's forces at rebels trying to overthrow him. They were the missiles used by Iraq during the first Gulf War. From the United States, our correspondent Robert Moore reports. Later in the programme, we'll have a first look at tomorrow's front pages, plus... There is still no hint yet about when South Africa's former president, Nelson Mandela, will leave hospital, but he is said to have made progress in the last 24 hours. He spent... The editor of The Times, James Harding, has announced that he is stepping down, Mr Harding said in his resignation. Now, the French film star Gérard Depardieu has had some pretty unfavourable reviews of his decision to move across the border into Belgium. Taxes there are lower than France's new top rate of 75%. But the French Prime Minister has called Depardieu's move pathetic and unpatriotic. Our Europe correspondent Emma Murphy reports now from Chez Girard. Let's have a look at tomorrow's front pages then. And the I might try one. See if I get a reply. That is tonight's ITV News. To you. <laughs> he will reply. Everybody replies to you. Uh -huh. The and national weather. That's it. <laughs> that is it. Come on. <laughs> The national weather is next. That is followed by the news from your part of the UK. But from the two of us, good night and thank you for watching. Good night.